Today, we're gonna talk about, is it better to put large down payment for a house? It's coming up right now, so don't go anywhere. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ade Juono, and I'm a local real estate agent, realtor here in Bellevue, Washington with Realty Executives Brio. And if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button, the one right there, okay? Okay, so I got this questions from a client. Hey, is it better to put large down payment when I wanna buy a house? Just say 20%. This one is really depending on your situation. If you have 20% laying around doing nothing, just sitting in the bank, yes. But most cases, no especially with the interest rate that's as low as we have right now we have a really great interest rate sometimes maybe you want to put the extra money to do something else instead of putting all that money that you have into down payment and traditional target for house down payment is 20 percent down but nowadays you really have to look into your current situation and today we're just going to talk about the pros and the cons putting a large money for down payment. And just FYI, average down payment for first time home buyer here in Washington is about from 0% down payment to 10% um, down payment. Since the house here in Washington is pretty expensive, not many people can afford to put 20% down. So you don't have, you really don't have to just keep saving money for that 20% down payment. And now we have a program, down payment assistance program. It's from the state. Um, if you have 620 credit score and you're thinking about doing down payment assistance from the state, that means the state will pay the down payment for you right now. Maybe the interest rate is a little bit higher compare if you take a loan for FHA or a conventional, but they're really not that much higher. So now let's take a look at the pros and cons putting a large money for down payment. Just say 20% or more. Pros number one, smaller mortgage. Of course, since you put a large money for down payment, your mortgage gonna be smaller. Pros number two, usually lower mortgage rates since the bank the lender know that you put more money for down payment that means less risk for them that way they can give you a lower mortgage rates pros number three less interest expense so with pro number one and two we'll combine and get you pro number three that means you don't really uh, pay that much if you compare zero down payment compared to if you put 20% down payment. Your pros number four, there's no mortgage insurance. We call it PMI, private mortgage insurance. So with that one, it's to protect the bank just in case you bail or just in case you cannot pay your monthly dues. So if you put 20% down, less risk to the bank and they can waive that mortgage insurance. Pros number five, less monthly payments. Because with everything that you put bigger at the beginning, your monthly gonna be significantly less. Okay, so now let's talk about disadvantages of large down payment, or let's talk about the cons. Number one, longer time in the market. So while you're thinking about saving the money, you're gonna have to keep renting and you pay that rent for the extra time instead of building equity. Cons number two, we're in appreciating market. So can your savings catch up with the appreciation? In King County, we appreciate 7% compared to last year. So if you're thinking about buying $500,000 house or um, 800,000, can your saving make over 7% over the next year? Cons number three, if you empty your bank just to follow that traditional rule with 20% down payment or more, 
and you have no emergency fund, your bank is just empty, don't do it. Cons number four, you have to pay extra money for that private mortgage insurance, the PMI. So with that one, PMI again, uh, you have mortgage, you have PMI, and the PMI will go on top of your mortgage. Cons number five, the money, the large money that you put for a down payment cannot be invested in, in something else like a stock. So if your stock going good and they can earn 10% per year, uh, you, you don't have that money because you use it for down payment. So you got to really look at your current situation. Is it make sense to put 20% down payment with the rate that's really low right now? So that's the pro and cons of putting large money for down payment. So is it better to put large money for down payment on a house? Most cases, no. And again, in King County, we appreciate 7% compared to last year. Pierce and Snohomish County appreciate 12% compared to last year. So if you're thinking about buying in King, Snohomish, or Pierce, you got to really look at your budget. Hey, can I save just say 7% if it's King or 12% if it's Pierce or Snohomish. So if you think you can save more than the appreciation, it makes sense. And again, right now, even with down payment assistance, they have a great rate. So instead of saving money, waiting and catching up, you can get into a home with today's prices instead of waiting for another a year or two just to catch up with the Washington appreciation. So reach out to me any way you want. I will put my info there or down below. Uh, that way we can explore all of your options. Just give me a call. I can set you up with my lender. We can talk about, hey, what's down payment assistance? What if I go FHA with 3% down? What if I go conventional with 5% down? Or I have money under my pillow. It's 30% down. What is all my options? Maybe you will find 20% down, it's better for you, or maybe you will find down payment assistance, it will work best for you. So call me up, we can chat about it, we can sit down with mess on, we can talk in person, or we can do Zoom. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and the like, it will really help me out. Okay, thank you guys, I'll see you again next week.